The question I often get asked is how to deal with worries. Now, worries and concerns may affect us in our meditation or they may affect us in our daily lives. Sometimes our worries and concerns are, can be so bad that they cause us a lot of stress and make us very unhappy. So how to deal with worries and concerns? Well, one way to deal with them is by reflection. Think about the fact that everything in our lives is impermanent and will one day disappear, will one day break or fall apart and we have to let go of them. And if we do not have to let go of them, then one day we have to part with them anyway because we will have to leave this world behind if our time has come. So if you think about it like that, then we can let go and see things in a better perspective. It doesn't mean that we do not think of anything as important, but it means that we learn to see things in their perspective more. We learn to see what is important and what is not important. So that is one thing. Another thing is that it's important to reflect that the worries and concerns that we have are often about things that we cannot change anyway. Basically, in the world, there are two kinds of things. Things that we can change and things that we cannot change. Those things that we can change, we do not need to worry about because we can change them. So we do not need to worry about them. And then there are things we cannot change. If there are things, if those are things that we cannot change, then we don't need to worry about them because we cannot change them anyway. So whatever the case, there is no need for worry and concern, it doesn't help us. So worries and concerns, we can reflect about them in this manner, but it's also important that we deal with them in meditation. It's important that we practice meditation regularly to clear up our mind and to make sure that our mind doesn't become a collection of all sorts of concerns, worries and stress that we haven't dealt with. So when we meditate often, it's it's going to help us a lot. But how do we deal with worries and concerns if they pop up in our meditation? We allow them to be. We do not react to them, we do not respond to them, we allow them to be. We do not push them away, but we also do not start to analyze them. This is basics. This is meditation 101. But uh, if that doesn't help, then sometimes we learn to practice loving-kindness meditation. We make our mind broad and open and we spread good intentions of love and kindness to everyone around the world, to ourselves as well. And in that way we will find that our mind becomes less susceptible, less subject to worries and concerns. And that is also a way to deal with worries and concerns by simply making our mind more soft and open in meditation.